happening tonight in Tracy. Mayor Dr. Nancy Young will join other members of the Democratic Club in holding a rally before a special city council meeting. That rally will oppose the proposed change to voting rules within the council. And Dr. Young is joining us now with more on why she is calling for this rally. Uh, Dr. Young, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. So let's first of all get our viewers up to speed on how the city council even got to this point. The, how we got to this point, it goes back to 2018. 2018, we actually had um, a number of fires, our terminations, our encouraged to leave um, positions within our city. And it had, at that point, it had been four city managers in the the eight year tenure that I had already been on the council. And so um, in light of the the entire community was in an uproar after the city manager was let go, um, African-American, after a Hispanic police chief was let go, and there were several other key positions that were let go in 2018. So in order to restore the public um, trust in our government, the grand jury actually set out to do a report on us and they gave a number of suggestions as to what we should do to help restore that public trust. One of those things was to implement an ordinance that would actually make it a super majority necessary to, in order to terminate the city manager or the city attorney. And so in 2019, we did adopt that. And so now here we are, fast forward, and now we have another great city manager, African-American, um, who we brought in from out of state, who's doing a stellar job, just got an outstanding review earlier this year. And so now at the count, the last council meeting that we had this past week, it actually started um, from, it's been a lot of systemic things that's happened over the course of this year. But Dr. Long, um, let, me, let, me, let me jump in here. So, so the grand jury made this recommendation. The council adopted their recommendation for the super majority, meaning that there had to be a majority to vote on any changes. Uh, but then there was a meeting that was called for today to make changes to, is it the voting procedure or to make a change to ultimately to fire this city manager? What is the plan for the meeting this afternoon? The ultimate goal is actually um, of the council members is to fire our city manager. What the request was at this past week's meeting was to change, to bring back an ordinance today, to introduce an ordinance that would change the voting to from a super majority to a simple majority of of only the city manager, not the city attorney as well. So we're not just looking at updating policy, it's targeted. And so that's where we are today. And so Dr. Young, tell me why it was important for you to then call for this rally before that meeting. Is there another way that this could have been handled perhaps with conversations with the other council members? No, it can't be. And so what happened in 2018 is the same, it's the same, um, Thing that's underlying current. See, that's the thing what we have to realize in the city of Tracy. And it was only after the fact that people had rallies and were upset and we could not change what had happened, even though people tried and tried to bring people back, it did not happen. And so this time I wanted to make sure that our citizens are aware ahead of time while they have an opportunity to come out and voice their words to our current city council that no, this is not acceptable. And with only one day notice, it was just noticed yesterday to come out to, to have the meeting today and in all fairness and transparency we're not doing that when we're not giving our community enough time to be able to respond to this and so this is why the call is out for today to let the city know that this is going on and that we need to stop the same agenda that keeps sending our city backwards in progress. Dr. Young let me play devil's advocate a little bit here if I'm a viewer I, I live in the city of Tracy I see um, what is perceived to be infighting between you and between the council members the city manager uh, you know it just it kind of sounds like a mess honestly you know what is it that you ultimately want people to take away from what's happening in their city and how can they be more involved in these processes see when i became mayor in 2018 i'm not I mean, 2020 i take that back um i really tried to build a team a team of the council a team of the, of the staff a team of our community and even came up with a theme I'm Team Tracy, building community together. And that is what I have worked on every single year. But there are different ones on our council who just don't want to be a part of the team. And so no matter what we try to do, there's division and it's manufactured um, frustrations. And so it's not, it's not that it's just you know, council members against each other, but you have to realize that it, it is a real agenda that controls and that 
inspires these particular ones that's on the council that's from the past. And so in order to stop the past and the history repeating itself, we've got the community has got to build it together. The community has got to come out and say, this is not okay. The community has to say that all these things that these particular council members are coming in and voting against, not only diversity, equity, and inclusion, but things that have been in the works for the last 20, 30 years. And so they're undismantling all the many things that we have had in place. And that is where the frustration comes in. Brand new people coming in, not even having sat there for a while to know what's really going on, but so actually Dr. Young, coming let me, in. Let me jump in here. Mm -hmm. Let me be very clear too for our viewers. What is happening tonight? So there is a vote that's scheduled for tonight. Is tonight just a hearing? Tonight is a vote to introduce the ordinance. Okay. So you have to have so no vote know, the, on the ordinance. But tonight, City Council and Tracy is voting uh, to introduce this ordinance, which will be voted on at a later time. Is that correct? No. Okay. So well, the ordinance will be voted on at a later time, but okay. you still have to vote this first part in. I see. And okay. So my so my goal and my hope is that the people will come out of the citizens of Tracy and stand up and say, no, we don't want this to happen, to stop it in its infancy, to stop it right now so that we can move forward in progress in okay. our community. Okay, well, we definitely appreciate you joining us this morning and uh, really explaining more about uh, why you made this call the way you did. KCRA is planning to be there tonight and we'll bring that to our viewers so they can stay informed as well. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you. So can we just mention that the, the press conference is at 530 today and the meeting is at 6 o'clock p.m. All right. Thank you so much.